Hello, I have a couple questions that I want to start off our session with today. Number one is, who are you listening to? And number two is, who can you trust in a world that, uh, where trust is just, just so hard to come by and we wonder who can we trust and, and who can we listen to? I want you to know that there are still good messengers with a good message. And even though we live in a time where there's a lot of false messengers with false messages, uh, I want you to know that you can align yourself with those whose intentions are good and who serve you, not because of what they can receive, but what they want to impart to you. So I want to read my text today. It's out of 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5, and it says, Now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith. You know, there's a lot of voices in the world. Scripture tells us that. And none of them is without signification. All of them believe that what they have to offer is significant. But there really is the difference between those that minister to us and those that minister at us, those that want to impart to us, and those that want to take away from us. And so we have to develop discernment in the days that we live in. And so God's word, of course, is our standard. And so anyone who's not teaching God's word is someone that we should not really be listening to. That is not a good instructor. But someone who is sharing God's word is reliable. But then there's this real practical aspect that Paul talked to Timothy about. He said, you know, really, the motive for you doing what you do should be love. Can you sense that someone is interested in you when they're ministering to you, when they're instructing you? That, that's a key right there. We're not talking about someone manipulating you or twisting the scripture. We're talking about someone who really cares about you. And then it says you can identify that per person in three ways. Number one, they have a pure heart. Uh, their agenda is God's agenda. They don't have uh, their own agenda in mind. Secondly, they do it with a good conscience. Uh, they, they want to do what they do because they believe it's the right thing to do. They believe it's the noble and the true thing to do. And, and then the third aspect that these people and quality that they possess is that they have a sincere faith. Uh, you know and I know that we can sense sincerity. We know when someone is, is trying to pull our leg and not sincere and those that are sincere. So those are, those are good things to so keep in mind. We don't want to have a critical eye when someone's giving us advice or instruction, but we want to make sure it's in line with God's word that, you know, we sense that they love us, that there's a, a pureness about what they do. It's a good and noble thing. And, and that really they're, they're interested in building up our faith. And so they point us to Jesus. Here's a, Here's a couple things that I want to finish with. Jesus said we would know people by their fruits. And so it's okay for you and I to examine and to look for the evidence of godliness in someone's life. What is the evidence of godliness? Selflessness. So if someone is serving you and someone lives and has the evidence of godliness, they're probably a good instructor. Uh, what about someone who is selfish? Well, we already know where that goes, right? So we don't have to really pay attention to their instructions. So I want to encourage you, have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. God still has messengers with a good message that help build us up and strengthen us in the faith. Because there is a difference between the true and the false. And through the Holy Spirit and through the Word of God, we can stay on this straight and the narrow path. God bless you. Have a good day.